¿Qué es lo que mi gente? Estamos aquí en el meeting. Estamos esperando que lleguen alguna gente antes de comenzar. Hoy vamos a hablar de lo que pasó durante la semana y vamos a contestar algunas preguntas. Este meeting es para la gente que están invirtiendo conmigo. Ahora, si tú no eres parte de eso, tú puedes también escuchar el meeting. Eso no es algo en particular con nadie. Pero si te, si te interesa y quieres saber más de lo que estamos haciendo, me puedes hacer preguntas después. Todo aquel que, que está parte del grupo mío, que quiere saber más, eh, pueden hacerme la pregunta que quieran. Yo voy a aplicar lo que pasó hoy y cómo invertimos hoy y cómo le sacamos provecho. Um, y después de ahí, usted me va a hacer preguntas. La persona que está haciendo preguntas me va a parar durante el que está grabando. Va a leer la pregunta y después continuamos con todo lo que está pasando. So, vamos a enfocarnos en lo que pasó hoy. So, la compañía que estamos mirando hoy se llama Scott. ¿Cuánta gente tenemos ahí? Vamos a ver si alguno de los muchachos llega. Aquí tenemos este, siete gente. Siete personas. Sí. Vamos a comenzar así. Al final, yo voy a, el video lo voy a, eh, que tengo grabado, no lo voy a tratar de hacer tan largo, para después subirlo para el grupo que tenemos. <coughs> so, la comunidad que estamos viendo hoy se llama Scan. Eh, nosotros invertimos en 1.60. Fue eh, cuando yo le di a todo para comprar. Y... En lo más alto que subió fue 1.80. Aparte de eso, ya había bajado muy bajito aquí. Que en los en lo 30 llegó a bajar. Uh, nosotros no llegamos a invertir en nada de eso. La cosa que estamos viendo aquí eh, son sim simples cosas. Es lo que le quiero enseñar a la gente ya que está en el grupo. Lo que no han visto, no les voy a enseñar nada al principio porque ya estamos mucho más avanzados. Lo que no vieron lo que pasó, pasa en el principio, cómo invertí, qué significa esto, qué significa lo otro, pueden ver los otros videos que tengo también en, en Facebook o los videos yo los voy a subir para el grupo que tenemos. En el grupo yo lo aplico más. Si tienen otra pregunta, continuamos. Pero voy a ir más, más avanzado en lo que hicimos hoy y lo que vamos a hacer mañana. So, básicamente, lo que pueden ver, lo primero que yo estoy mirando, no es meterme aquí al principio y dejar eh, que... Eh, Deja que suba, o sea, no puede esa ganancia. Sí se puede hacer eso, pero nunca sabemos cuánto va a subir. Solo lo que yo hago es que dejo que suba lo más que pueda. Wait a minute, I'm doing all this in Spanish, right? God damn it. Why am I, why am I speaking Spanish? This is supposed to be in English. God damn it. Anyways, so listen, the main thing that I do is I, I let it run. So I let the stock run to its highest, to hit the high of the day. Once it is the high of the day, so the morning spike. Then what I'm looking for is a dip. So what is called a dip buy. When that dip buy happens around here, then I'm looking for the resistance. So that's why in the shadow room, I said, a little run, we are all looking at this, what's gonna happen. And then we're gonna look for resistance for the bottom. Once it builds that, we should build it at 160. So here was around 1.60. So that's when it did it. So we waited there. And I knew the high today was 180. I'm not gonna tell you guys to sell at 180, which was the high of the day. I'm gonna tell you guys to sell at 175, which is a, a Shibuba number. It's not at 180, 175 is easy to get. So, when it was consolid consolidating at 160, what I did is um, uh, I invested. I told you guys, I'm going in. Bought 4,000 shares at that price. When that happens, I tell you guys to wait. And then I told you guys that I'm leave we're leaving um, at 175, that was the alert. Simple, easy, straightforward. All you really need to get is those few cents. We're not here to become rich overnight or to hit a run, home run every single time. What we're here to do is to achieve that small amount every single time, which is consistent. That we know this dip, and then it's gonna be a bounce again. We gotta get on the first bounce. That's what we need to do. First in the morning, that's what we need to get part of. And so. When that happens, it hits 175, it actually hit 177 that, at that point. But we sold at 176 and 175. Easy, buy and sell. Then after that, it did another tip. And then I said again, we're gonna wait. Cause we're waiting at this point, when we're waiting here, at this point in particular, we're waiting for this to either go up again and make what is called a double top, hit that high resist uh, uh, high resistance again and then it can run for them which is gonna create excitement if it goes down 
guess what's gonna create? Panic, right? So you, you don't wanna you don't wanna be part of this. So that's why when people in the chat room were asking, why didn't we go are we going in again? I said, yeah, but not yet. Because first um high, second high, it can go a triple or it can make that double top here. It didn't make the double top. It created panic and it went down. So that's what we didn't invest in. Nobody was in it. I was glad, happy. I made sure everybody lock, lock in profits because that's rule number one. Rule number two is it's called losses. So when it went down to here, we were waiting, 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 waiting. I didn't do any more investment because it was slow the whole day. So that's the main thing. You do not have to make a trade every single every single day. You do not. You don't have to be trading multiple times a day. One trade a day will be fine. Okay, and then it went up up again. We could have traded here and we, and we could have sell again But this was very slow and it only happened once. So that's exactly how the graph look if you look at the of the, um, of the, uh, the ticker is s c o n It's gone uh, And it ended up 150 150 is very low for when we bought it's 10 cents less uh, still 10 cents uh, 5 cents higher than when we sold it was from uh, from 160 to 175, uh, which is pretty good. All right, nobody has any questions. Any doesn't have a question. What's the question? How do we know when it goes when it's going up mm -hmm. and when it goes to drop? So we don't know when it's going up and when it's going down. That's what we're watching it. So we let it run the first run, which is called the high of the day. When it's going, and then obviously after it runs, it's gonna go down. We don't know how long it's gonna go down, so we just gotta wait and see. When it's going down and it hits this point, uh, and it stays there, that's called the low low point. resistance. This section right here, it's a low resistance. Low resistance. So in that in in that section, what happens is, if it stays above that, it's good. It's it's holding that low resistance. If it goes above that, it's creating excitement. If it reaches the top again. It creates more excitement and it makes a run, you know, but if it goes below that it creates panic And once it creates that panic and breaks that low resistance, then we don't want to be part of it anymore All right. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We don't know how long it's gonna be because obviously if we knew that we would have been multi millionaires <laughs> by now, but we just we're looking at the ways it went up this high and made that we read in it And that's basically what we're reading that graph. So when we do that, it's easy to execute um, goes up, goes down, finds resistance, and goes up, makes that excitement, we end in the second, it's the first jump. We know it's not gonna go as high as it was, which is around here, we just gotta get it up to here. Simple. We make, not to be greedy, not for it to hit, hit back where it was, take that money, and guess what happened after that? It went down. And then it went down more. So if you were part, it went down to like the, the one thirty. The highest one point eighty, right? Yep. And so one point eighty was the high, high of the day. All right. So if we keep it there, you, we know that that information appears right away. It was the morning spike. Yeah, great. If it goes down, if it's down at any point, if anything is happening um, that changes that, it, and it goes really down, it's panic, or everybody's selling up to the the hype, or people that were in from the day before. Uh, they just want to take that profit, which is that morning, you know, morning spike. After they take that money, is that's what creates that panic, you know. But there were still people in that were getting in while this was going up. So that's what makes that resistance. Those people are still holding there. Everybody that was in the night before, they're out. Or right, some some of the people that were going in while it was going up will sell. But it will make that resistance. And once people see that it's consolidating, that it's making that you know base of resistance. Then people start investing in one more, one more height. Doesn't mean after that it will go. If it wouldn't make a double top go up to 180, it can actually run to like the twos, which that's what we're looking for. But we are more secure when we lock in those profits at one point. Right. Okay, we got a question right here. Manuel says, how much you calculate how you calculate how much you want to invest and how much you are going to get in return. Every time. All right, excellent, yeah. good point. So, it all depends on your capital, how much you have. Um, what I recommend is if you have a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, this is more, this is more account, um, and you want to take the most out of it. If I'm telling you that our target 
it's one from one, it goes from one sixty to one um, seventy five. That is fifteen cents, right? Fifteen cents. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna invest more, um, if you wanna invest more and do more at that point, basically what you wanna do is um. Okay. Take take the most the most money that you can at that point. If you have a thousand dollars, put a thousand dollars. If you have two thousand dollars, put more than two thousand dollars. Um, me personally, I put four thousand dollars. It's a secure number. It's a small number for me. Four thousand um, dollars. I put a little bit more than four thousand dollars, but four thousand shares I bought. If it's moving fifteen cents, four thousand shares at that point, it's only six hundred dollars you're making in profit. So you gotta you gotta. Calculate your, your uh, risk and rewards, you know? Like, am I willing to risk this much to make this much? That's what you need to calculate. So, depends on your capital. It all depends on your capital. Um, you can do this. So, if you have $1,000 and you invest all $1,000, you need to wait three more days for your money to clear. So, that's one thing you have to take into consideration. Is that $0.15 cents worth it or not? But $0.15 cents is pretty good. So that's what I recommend. Anybody has any more other questions? No yet. All right. Um, but yeah, fifteen cents. It all depends on your capital and how much you want to gain from it. Um, at this price, uh, once this is a very low price, uh, we see other ones are four dollars, five dollars, a higher price that you might not be able to buy a lot more shares, and it might not move as you know like, as much as this one move because fifteen cents can mean a lot. Okay, we got another question. Somebody's asking, uh, can you go more in detail regarding left shoulder, right shoulder, and triple tops? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this. Hello. All right. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. So, main thing in the graph is that when it's going up, that's called um, so that will be the left shoulder. So if you're looking at the graph, it will be the left shoulder that is building. Once it builds that, so there's different reference for that. So when it hits that on top, it hits that that top, the first um, run, the morning spike, that's creating the, the right shoulder. If it goes down like it did um, this time and it consolidates at this point. When it goes up again on the second spike, it needs to reach at least the 180 in order to build that right, the, the right shoulder. So left shoulder and right shoulder, it needs to build that. Once you build the, the right shoulder, that is called a double top. Once it hits that double top, most likely it's gonna run. It's basically what it's doing is um, testing that resistance again at the high of the day. So it goes up, up, and then it goes down, hits the bottom resistance, and it goes up again, and it hits the high resistance again. So that creates the double top, right shoulder, uh, and uh, left shoulder and right shoulder. If it doesn't happen, so in some cases, one it hits, once it hits the right shoulder, second shoulder, it doesn't happen, right? It will go up, and then it will stay on here. It will not spike, and then it will go down again. If it hits that resistance again, the bottom, and it stays above the low resistance, it didn't create, it doesn't create a panic, it will go up again, and then it will hit the top again. That is called a triple top. Once it hits the triple top, then you it creates excitement. It's definitely gonna run. At this point, when it's creating the triple top, I'm definitely in. Um, and that's some of the things that we can uh, look forward when it's doing that. Right shoulder, uh, left shoulder, right shoulder, first spike, second spike, it needs to hit those two tops. And then it creates that triple top and it usually runs. Look at graphs, study the graphs and see exactly what I'm telling you. It creates that one spike, second spike, and it will be at the same level at that, uh, at that high. And then it will create a triple top and it will run. If it doesn't, cre if it doesn't run on the first double top. Any other questions? No. No so yet. far, all right. So that's that's the main thing that I want you guys to get. When you're reading the graphs, we are not being part of the first spike um, 
unless we're in overnight or unless we know it's gonna run. Because sometimes it will make a run and it will drop just a little spike that we don't even really wanna put our money into it. We wanna see how high it can go and then wait for the drop and then go in it again. It's safe, it's secure, it's not a gamble. It's not like we don't know how high it's gonna go in the first spike. So we don't know, we don't know, we don't have any information. It's building the graph. So we wanna be part of it as it's building the graph. Any questions? No, no, no nothing yet. No more questions. No more questions for now. So you guys, so everybody gets this right now, right? That's what I'm that's what I'm gonna say. Everybody gets the idea of what we did today and how we're doing that. Now, and I want you guys to get used to me seeing me in this. I'm gonna be posting this on the chat as well. But uh, this part of, of the meeting is that I want you guys to understand why we're doing certain things. If we buy something, if we're selling something, I want you guys to understand that why is the reason why I jump at this time? What's the reason that we sell this time? And why we're successful? Why we did we leave without knowing, without, you know, why am I telling you guys to leave if it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing? So I'm explaining those reasons. That's the reason of the whole meeting on the Thursdays. Um, so once I leave, this is what you guys should be looking at. Um, it's gonna be moving forward. I'm gonna be out of the country for a few. Um, so I want you guys to understand, I'm gonna be traveling, uh, meeting new people and introducing everybody to this, um, you know, strategy to make money. Um, any other questions? Nobody has a question? Nobody from the team? How many people we have in there? Uh, we hit like 14, but right now it's only eight people. In eight the people, are right, good. Nobody from the team have any questions? Everybody in the sense? What, what I'm saying, everybody's clear. Everybody can see me okay, I know I'm black and this is a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> but no man, this is what it is. It's easy money, there's it's nothing much to it. Um, I'm proud of the team that I have. Everybody's putting a lot of work. Everybody's making the effort to learn this and, and it's great, man. Um, uh, if I'm not there, I know Pedro's always putting notifications and doing stuff and I'm glad. You should follow some of the things that he's doing, you know? If if you see some somebody posted something in the chat, I'm not saying follow it blindly, you know, like just make sure that it has the volume, make sure that it has, you know, the momentum that you want it. Um, make sure that it has some good news. Um, sometimes there's there's pump saying you don't know why you're part of it and what's going on. So you want to make sure that you want that you're part of it, and there's a good reason why you're part of those. You know, like there is a base, a foundation, because I don't want you guys to be part of a trade that you guys put a thousand dollars and it has this big spike and then you guys see a drop, a small drop, following my rules, but you guys don't see no volume. Volume is very important. So if you see, and, and you can see that like Yahoo Finance, all the applications happen. Look at the volume. If you see, you have to see millions. If it's at a thousand, you need to see people buying a thousand, million shares in it. People investing millions of dollars, everybody in, the, in, in that um, stock itself because you have the opportunity to get in and out and that's what we want okay we got somebody asking if you can explain more uh about the uh, dip buying dip buy yes so dip buy is very simple and straightforward um what's it up uh dip buy is very simple and straightforward we looking for dip buy when it's, it's going down and it's building that resistance once it builds that resistance so let me clear this up a little. Dip buy. It goes up, like I said, morning spike or any spike, even if it goes um, down at, later uh, at some point of the day. If it's go, if it goes down, it needs to build resistance. You need to, it needs to be hanging out there. And you need to see that the volume is not fading, that you see less volume. Because if you see less volume, that means people are leaving, you know? People are buying more, but people are also leaving. You don't want to be part of it. You want to be part of people holding and buying. So people actually in it, because some people, obviously people are still going to, people are going to sell and it's going to go down. But you want to see people holding it and more volume building up on it. That is what it's called, the, the, um, it's going to build a low resistance. Once you see that big spike, it goes down, even if it's in the red. Sometimes I do dip buys, and you see that graph is completely red. Everything is negative. Um, even if it goes the line below negative, you can go. So let's say if this part here, 
is um is red and a green and this part over here is red so part over here uh green and then this part over here is red basically what you want to do is that once it goes that and it starts building that low we're looking at um if it goes red there's another dip by um instructions that you know probably you guys haven't seen and some of the other people that have been in the meetings before have seen this before basically what it is um if the graph is green it goes green in the day it goes high and then it drops and then when you see it hits there it stays here and then instead of making that spike again it goes down some more it creates some panic nobody wants to be part of that it makes more panic once you see that then we're looking at uh the history of that how often is this company doing that? Oh, have they do have they done it in, in before? Um, and when they do get the first spike or that big spike, how low does it go? What is the low resistance from you know a month ago or you know uh, uh, six months ago or in a year? What is the low resistance in a year? What is where is the bottom of that? How low has it been? You know. So once you find that out, boom, it will find that bottom. People are also looking for this information. It's just not you. It's this me making this up. There's other people looking at this the same way that I'm looking at. Once it hits that bottom, now from this point on, keep in mind, the graph is already looking red. It went down to the red. It's not looking green. From this point on, green. Mm -hmm. Goes down, and then what we do is, is called, we're doing a shift here from red to green. We don't want it to spike. We don't want to sell here. Not at all. We want to sell here. So it will be down the red. Let's say if it goes, is it worth, you know, um, a dollar, right? One dollar. And it goes up to 120 here. 20% it went up, right? And then it, on the high spike, it goes down. It breaks that low resistance. It breaks that one dollar mark. And now is at um, 60 cents, right? All right, so look at, look at this. And so 120, right? So... Let's say it open at one dollar. It goes up to one twenty. That's twenty percent it made, right? It goes down to one dollar again when it makes that um, the tip, and it keep it keeps holding, and it goes down to sixty cents. Now we buy at sixty cents, right? Sixty cents, and it goes up to one dollar. One dollar. So we buy at sixty cents. Goes up to one dollar. Which spike do you rather be? The one that went from one dollar to twenty cents, or the one that went from sixty cents to one dollar? Sixty cents for one dollar. Yes. Because yeah. you made forty cents. Mm -hmm. But people will see that graph and think, "Oh, that's red. I don't want to be part of it. This is negative." No, we don't even have to wait for that to break that one, um, that one twenty to hit that. At one, at one dollar, we already made forty percent of our money. See how that is? We don't have to wait. Simple. That's what a dip buy is. That's how I make some money. Exactly. Easy money. Easy money. Any other questions? Nobody else? Yeah, somebody um, asked uh, <clears throat> uh, when is a good time to like to chase? But we got two people that already answered that never chase. Like you don't never exactly. have to chase. Well, the thing about chasing is that uh, you don't want to chase something when it's um when it's going up or when it's going down. We don't chase. Um we don't chase going down, we don't chase going up. Because if it's, we're chasing going up, we can buy it here at the top. At 120, that's, you're chasing when it's going up. You don't know where, where the top is, but you're chasing it. You got it at 120. Boom. You're done. Period. Now, never mind. You say, I wanna, let, me, let me catch the bottom. And you catching a falling knife, <laughs> basically. It's going down. I'm going to do what it's called a dip buy. That's also chasing if you don't know where the bottom is, if it has to be consolidate, consolidate make that bottom resistant. And you buy it at one dollar and it goes up to 160. Are you losing again? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Yeah. If you buy at one dollar, it goes to, to, to um, 160, you're, you're losing. losing. You're losing. So that's why we never chase. We're not chasing. We don't need to chase. We can trade as many times as we want or whatever we want. So there's no need to chase. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Nope. No questions. I'm gonna cut this short, guys. I think we got most of the stuff that we need. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the in the video, and then we can address it at some other time. I can, you know, write something. But I'm gonna post this video in the chat, and I don't want to be as long as you know as I already did. So.
So no question is to close it. Uh, sure. Somebody's asking how many positions are you holding at once? At once, one or two at the most. It's, 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 I'm gonna say this in Spanish, que mucho abarca, poco aprieta. So if we have our focus just looking at one thing, if you cover a lot, you're not gonna have a, a, a good grip. Basically what it is. So if we pay attention to multiple things at a time, it will be so much harder for you to make a decision on one, and you're not gonna be focused on what the bottom was on this one, what the bottom was on the other one, what's the top on this one, what's the resistance. You're not gonna be focused on none of that because you're looking at so many things. Focus on one thing, even if it's not the right one. If it has all the right conditions, the volume, it has the 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 um, the price is right. Um, it has some good news. Focus on that, even if it doesn't go where you want it. Those are the great indicators that it's gonna run high. So just focus on those things. Um, and I think that's I, that's why I only focus on one or two at a time. If something is not doing what I'm, is not doing by lunch time, and you know what happens at lunch time, right? From 11, uh, 11 30 to around one p.m. It's, it's, it's lunch time. So lunch time. Some people might see in the chat in the chat like, "What is lunch time? What is this? Lunch time is literally lunch time." People are in lunch, <laughs> and this this trading slows down and it's inconsistent. The graphs and everything that we're looking at, you can look even at twelve how it looks. It's different because people people are actually trading, and when that time happens, there's people in, in Wall Street here in New York and doing different places, um, and they are in lunch. They'll not be trading. So lunch time, I wouldn't chase at that point, um, and I would be. Yeah. That's I wouldn't if it nothing happens at that time I would just move on from that point look at something else that has some developing news and I focus on that share look at something else at a time but for mainly one or two at a time that's it any other questions no so far no so far all right I think we're good I think we're good right no more questions we good anybody here has any questions no no anybody Not watching the video with a question. Nobody else. I got a lot of questions, but it's different. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have all the videos to that, you know. But I think we're good. I'm in New York. Um, guys, I'm going to be here for a little bit, and then I'm leaving back to Massachusetts, and then I'm going to Miami, and then I'm going uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to some other places. Uh, but I want you guys to take the most that you guys can while I'm still, you know, here, you know, while I'm still here. So that's good. All right, see you guys.